Okay, I'm going to try to do a screen record her program of the program I just uh, uh, typed up the steps to connect to the uh, extension kit devices with the RoboMaster. So, here we go. So, first of all, I'm going to look up here for Mind Plus. And it usually takes a little while to load. So there we go. Now at this point, I do have the um, open source controller connected by USB to the computer. So there's uh, several steps that you have to go through. It's a little complex and what I call a little quirky. Uh, but, for as complicated and as powerful as this program is, uh, it's probably the way the programmers had to do it. So, we're waiting for that hourglass uh, to load this program. I wanted to try to record every step so uh, I don't miss anything. And there we go. Okay, there is our blank program. So I'm going to make that full screen. And now comes the complicated part. You do have to realize that the Robo and the extension kit or the ESP, whatever you want to call it, are two separate entities. They are not the same, they're not programmed the same, and they don't work the same. So you do have an offline mode and inline mode. And right now, obviously, if we're going to go USB, we have to go to the offline, and you can see it's on white there. It's offline, and then you have the online next to it, which you would use for uh, the Tilo or the RoboMaster. So now we go way down here to this little square that there is that says extensions, and that's what we're working with. And up comes extensions. Now, you do have to make sure uh, at this point that you see over there under the extensions all the boards that will work with this system. So trying to work with another uh, device that isn't from DR Robot might give you problems unless you really are good at uh, uh, this computer world here and programming. Over there you see RoboMaster TT ESP32. Okay, now this is under offline you do have to make sure you're there okay under online you would look for function up there at the top and that would bring up the telo but offline working with the extension kit now we're going to go up to communications uh, i'm sorry first i gotta click the board you see it. board over here so we have to click on Uh, and then communications and there we see the boards again from DF robot that are programmed to work with this um, system again using other ones you might have a problem but anyway I'm going to bring up the RS transmitter module which is a project that we're working on to make the clicker control uh, the RoboMaster and the Tilo. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to go back. And you can see that I've got a very unique uh, little guy there that comes up in the graphics and it says RMTT ESP32 start. Okay. So probably at this point, <coughs> 
I had a good idea to write a simple program. So let's go up here to control and get a couple wait statements over there. And we're going to do here under my blocks the catch. So we're going to do a blink program. So there's the blink. I've already done this, but I just want to show you what we're doing here. So under my blocks again, let's get a second one. And bring down this, and you can see at my age, I'm a little shaky. Uh, working on some ways to solve that problem. So here goes red. And here goes white. And let's change these to 10. So you can see a decent thing going. It's going to wait a while. You can put any time in there that you want. So I'm putting in 10. Now I hope I'm going to do this next step right. Okay, I got to lower this some because I got some problems with my screen there, you can see. Okay, now we've got over there our C++. Uh, I presume that you could copy this and send it uh, as a text program. So yeah, that's in C++. I've done it uh, and I put it in text and everything seemed to work for me. So now we want to go up here and find the device and get see we're on COM11 CP210X. That I guess is the ESP um, method to connect. So now I'm going to go over here to network. And there is my RoboMaster 982A6A. So I'm going to connect to it. Maybe I should have done this first. I don't remember. So many steps uh, I've tested. Um, but I'm at the point where most of the time I get it working. So it's still connecting. And as far as I can tell, I'm still recording. As always, Wi-Fi, there we go. We're connected now. So now maybe I should go connect up here again. I don't remember, but anyway, I'll do it. I don't think it'll hurt. Okay, now we're at this point. But we still haven't, we're not really connected to that uh, um, open source ESP, and we haven't uploaded the program yet. So now we go here to My Blocks or RMT. We'll try RMT first. Okay. And uh, this is where it gets a little touchy. You go up to the top, and that didn't do it. So now let's go to my blocks, because that's what we're working with. And over here, they should come up, but I don't remember if this is with the offline or online. We're still online. So this is where I have got all the details worked out here. But anyway, now I want to connect to Well, let's go ahead and see if we can upload. I don't think so. I guess we are. 
So doing it this way, this is where it gets complicated because once you do it this and you un unconnect it, and then you have to connect to the Tilo. And you can see down there in the terminal window what it's doing. We're up to 50, 62%. 97%. And now you'll see the rest of the program load, hopefully. And there we go. If you didn't do something right, this is a point at which 98% it will get hung up. Okay, there is a success and my red light went on. So now we've uploaded and I don't have a camera connected here. Uh, I may redo this uh, with a re-sophisticated uh, uh, system of video, but I wanted to do it in a hurry, so I had it that I could uh, upload it and send it information that I just sent. So my program is working. It's on white now for 10 seconds. And then we're going to go over here to Project. And we're going to save as. And there's a normal save as, you can see. And I already have uh, this. And here it is. You can see MTT Simple Blink, red and white SBE. So I'm going to make a number two. RoboMaster. Okay. Simple blank red and white ten seconds. And that will make it a little bit different or that because I can't use the same name. And I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, now remember, at this point, this is in the uh, ESP, and it is working. And until you turn it off, okay, it's loaded, or until you load another program. So now I'm going to go back to load a program. And you'll see I'm going to load the program. I didn't finish that other one, by the way. I didn't change the seconds. Let me show you. Change the color. Oh, yes, I did. Here it is. And I did save it. So I'm going to load this. And go back to the other program, single blank red. It's loading the new program. Which here is the same program, okay. I could have changed the seconds to see it different. Now again, I'm going to upload it. And in the terminal window down at the bottom, you see it. Going in, and in the window at the top, you see it saying, burning it, upload 53%.
Now, if you're going to do this with your own ESP or different device than the Robo, I don't know how to do that. Probably Hacky does. We're mostly working with youth on teaching them how to do all this and fly drones and swarm drones and so on. So. And there we go. The blink has started. Program here, I'm sorry, it turned off. And there it started. Upload successful, 100%. And the red blink came on, and now it turned to white. So I guess that's about all I can think of here. And you can see over there the adrenal seal, C, the arrow, and the cold here, and C. Now you can go in and rework this C, separate from the graphics. The way I understand it from the instruction, both the C and the Micro Python or Python part of it will work um, together, okay, uh, or separately. I was trying to think the word that they will coexist together. So the only difference that uh, found so far is that when you go with Python, it's not the Arduino, and therefore. Uh, I was trying to think. There, therefore, there's one step you do not have to do. Uh, you do not have to do compile. So, okay, I'm going to stop the screen share and turn this into a program, I think, and put it up on YouTube uh, and then send information on how to use it. So, hopefully this will help those in need. I said it took me and our group almost a year to get here for all we're doing. And for this particular part, the extension has taken about two months. And we're still working on it because there's an awful lot of power here uh, for the drones. We haven't used it at all yet for swarm flying, which is one of our goals. So, but we have it for integration with music and uh, uh, video and so on. So I'm going to stop it.